thought I'd go ahead and just shoot a video, uh, since that's probably the simplest way to do it. Anyway, this is the driveway you'd be coming in on. you got to go underneath a carport, okay, which obviously I've got cars in right now, easy enough to move. That distance between the wall and the uh, stairway is a tad under 8 feet. I've had trailers back here before. <laughs> Excuse me. But anyway, I got piles of stuff just starting to stack up here. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, just a bunch of uh, old lumber that I've got. I've got, uh, I can cut this up to certain lengths if you think it'd make you uh, be able to move a little faster. Got a little bit of hill to clean out here. You've got a driveway where we can roll a trailer back to the back, which is where I want to get to. Right now I've got that, uh, that car canopy there. We can either uh, move my saws and whatnot and just take the center pole out and get you underneath. And you can roll back there and leave it or, or work or whatever. Uh, and then put it back, you know, while you're working back there and, and when you have to, before you have to come back out. But I've got this shed back here. This is part of and part of a remodel. It's just a bunch of crap that's built up back here. And it's back here in the corner. You can actually back a trailer up all the way back here to the back of the property line next to this stuff. But this shed collapsed after we took the sides off, and I've just got to go through and dig it out. Once again, I can start cutting it in pieces if you think that would make you uh, be a little bit easier on you and get it, get it out of here faster. But it's mostly just, you know, old, old lumber, really. And over here, I've got a bunch of... Uh, roofing that came off the roof. Some of it's still on this piece right here. But all this needs to be cleared out. Uh, all the lumber right here. I'm taking that little shed down over there. And a few other odds and ends. But that's that's pretty much it. And I would guess it's probably a couple of low boys worth of stuff back here. And given the size of your trailer and your picture, it would probably take a few trips. So I'm thinking maybe uh, get me an estimate per trailer. Uh, based on the time you can come up here and load a trailer up at one, one at a time and then we can probably go from there. Once we roll it back in here though and get it next to all the scrap I think then you can back your truck in and just haul it straight out. So that's the job. Um, just give me your thoughts on it. Let me know. Thank you.